All right, so here we have the car buying project where we are going to take a look at the total cost of ownership, not just a car payment, what it takes to run a vehicle. So we're first going to choose a vehicle and there's a link in here and that link will take you to CarMax, but you do not have to use this link. It's just a link. You can search anywhere you want for the car you want. Then the next thing you're going to do is go down to the loan calculator. And I just wanna show you an example of the loan calculator. So after you select your car and you see how much it is, you're gonna come down to the loan calculator and you're gonna play with the number. So you're gonna put some money in, whatever the car costs, and then you're gonna select the credit score. You are gonna find out the cost for every credit level from fair to excellent. Then you're going to add a down payment. Some people can put no money down on a vehicle, but it means you're financing everything in your vehicle. So that can make your payments a little more expensive. So what you guys might wanna play with is, is what happens if I put 2,000 down, 3,000 down, how does that affect the payment? Now, trade-in value. The trade-in value is if you already have a car, and remember it's an asset, not a liability, meaning you have it paid off, you can turn in that car and they can take some money off of your bill. So that is only if you already have a car, that's what you can trade in. Sometimes you can trade in a car and you can have something called negative equity, which means the car is a liability and you owe more on it than it's worth. And they will have to put that into the price of your car. Then you're gonna select the amount of years you'd like to pay on the vehicle. So we have three, four, five, and six here. You're gonna put in your zip code because your zip code determines the taxes on the vehicle. Okay. So that's how you're going to use the loan calculator. After you use the loan applicator, you are gonna search online for a car, uh, car insurance quote. So once you have the make model or even the VIN number of the vehicle, you can estimate what your cost of insurance will be. The next thing you will do is your um, the miles you will drive per year. So the government has a sample of what it estimates people broken down into various categories, what how many miles you'll drive based on your age, gender. You choose whatever you want though. Uh, it's not specific to me, but you'll, fi you'll figure out how many miles you average there. Also, your car insurance is set based on the amount of miles you drive. The more miles you drive in a year, the, the higher your insurance is. Then you're gonna calculate the gas prices. Once you know how many miles you drive a year, you can calculate how much gas you're gonna expend on your vehicle. And then the most important of all, you can pay for the car, but you can't take it anywhere if your vehicle is not registered with the Department of Motor Vehicles. So here you have the Department of Motor Vehicles schedule of fees. So depending on how much your car costs, how much your car, not costs, excuse me, how much your car weighs, what type of vehicle it is. Did you get a motorcycle? Did you get a truck? Did you get a car? You're gonna have to go through the DMV fees to figure out what it's gonna cost to register your vehicle. Then, At the bottom of the sheet, this is all make model, the things that we already went over. Um, when you are searching for your car, I did want to put that in the sheet. I've asked you, if you pick an electric vehicle, how far can you go on that charge? And if you have a gas powered vehicle, you're going to look at how big is the tank and how many miles can you get city? How many can you get highway? City gets less miles than highways because it has more stops. It's more stop and go. That burns up more gas in your car. When you're on the highway and you're traveling at a steady pace, you can get more gas mileage out of your vehicle. And then I ask you about the number of cylinders in your vehicle because that also determines about how much gas you're gonna use. So like in your vehicle, and so your loan calculator, registration. And then of course, if you have a car, 
you have to maintain that vehicle, which means you are going to need oil changes and maintenance. So your oil change and maintenance depend on the type of vehicle you pick. So cars are gonna need oil changes more often than trucks or SUVs. So you can look at the amount of miles it will be before oil change or how many times a year they say. And so you're gonna calculate the true cost of what it costs to buy a car and maintain it. 